viewers and welcome to the Polymer Update daily news show. This is Pratiksha Karkera from the Polymer Update Mumbai office. Today's special news read is sponsored by Delhi based SK Master Batches, producers of the best quality of master batches for different polymers such as LGP, LLGP, HDP, PP, PVC, ABS, PS, PET, PC, EVA, etc. In the main news, crude oil prices gained sharply last Friday, while WGI traded at $55.64, a rise of $1.10 per barrel, Brent finished at $62.07, up $1.45 per barrel. Open spec NAFTA prices last Friday were also assessed sharply higher by 10 US dollars per metric ton to settle at 581 US dollars per metric ton CFI Far East Asia levels. Ethylene prices rise in parts of Asia while propylene prices dropped last week. Ethylene prices were assessed at 12.55 US dollars per metric ton CFR Northeast Asia levels, a week-on-week -week increase of 20 US dollars per metric ton. The price rise was supported by strong buying interest in the region. Prices were at 11.35 US dollars per metric ton CFR Southeast Asia levels unchanged from the previous week. Propylene prices were assessed at 9.45 US dollars per metric ton CFR China levels, a week-on-week -week plunge of 35 US dollars per metric ton. Prices were at 9.20 US dollars per metric ton FOB Korea levels, down 20 US dollars per metric ton from the previous week. Reports of ample product availability and weaker downstream PP demand and pricing trends for sellers of propylene to revise their prices lowered across the Asian region. Last week, benzene prices climbed while SM prices edged lower in Asia. Benzene prices were assessed at 810 US dollars per metric ton FOB Korea levels, a week on week increase of 15 US dollars per metric ton. The price rise was on the back of a week on week rise in upstream energy rates and higher benzene values in the USA. SM prices were assessed at 1170 US dollars per metric ton FOB Korea levels and 11.95 US dollars per metric ton CFR China levels both declined 5 US dollars per metric ton from the previous week. The price fall was in line with weaker buying interest in key markets like China coupled with softer downstream PS and ABS demand and pricing trends. If you have enjoyed watching this daily news video from Polymer Update and have found it to be useful for your business, please subscribe to our channel by pressing the button below. It's Monday, November 6th. This is Pratiksha Kandera. Thank you.